You are now riding the wave. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm your host, Rudy, Rudy Moignoni, and uh, thank you for tuning in to the wave. This episode, what I want to talk about today is um, why life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. Um, I got some notes here, so bear with me. Life isn't fair. Life isn't fair for various reasons. We can look at society. We can look at the workplace. We can look at your schooling. We can look at um, fine, we could talk financial literacy. We could look at the economy. We could look at the global economy. Life isn't fair on for you know for so many on so many levels on so many different aspects. Life just isn't life isn't fair. It's it's a fact. Okay, um, we can all agree that there's a lot of unbalance in these sectors in life, and life isn't fair. Do you agree with me? Is, do you think life is fair? Life isn't fair. Anyways, how can we make life fair during this quarantine, during this lockdown? Um, I mean, we're all blessed enough to have a little bit of extra time on your hands, whether you're working, whether you're not working, you know, whether your hours have been cut back. It's, it's a great time to reflect and understand how blessed you are. Then it's also a great time to kind of um, reinvent yourself or evaluate yourself and um, evaluate yourself. And if you like the person, great. If you don't like the person, it's a great time to uh, become the person that you should be. Become the person for the past, become the person for the fat past 10 years that you've been telling, oh, if I had more time, I would do this. I would, if I would read this, I would become this person. I would pick up this skill. Anyways, um, these are some things that worked for me. Uh, and I just wanted to share with, I just wanted to share them with you. So, how to get the upper hand in life. Stop comparing yourself to others. Uh, comparison, it's its a thief of joy. Comparing yourself, it's a dream killer. Um, comparing yourself, it paralyzes you from taking any type of action because you're looking at, you know, everybody wants to keep up with the Joneses or you're looking at, you're, you're looking at your neighbor. You're looking at, you know, something that you see online. You're comparing yourself to a celebrity. You're comparing yourself to someone that has some outlying factors why he or she is su successful. So it's, it's, that will inflate you every time. So the number one, and these are in order of my importance. Number one thing is stop comparing yourself to others. Number two thing is uh, stay in your own lane. There's no traffic if you're in your own lane. If you had, think about if you're driving on the freeway, the highway, if you're driving in your own lane, there's no traffic. So stay in your own lane. Um, stop trying to do what everyone else is doing. You know, there's, there's only one of you, you know, so from, from the middle of my heart, I'm telling you, there's only one of you. So stop trying to be somebody that you're not. Be yourself, be you. Let that other person, let that celebrity or whoever, let them be them. You be you. <laughs> um, Ask yourself this, the third thing. So first thing is um, stop comparing yourself to the others. The second thing is stay in your own lane. The third thing is ask yourself, what makes you unique? What makes you unique? What makes you special? What makes you, you? Do some soul searching during, during this quarantine, during this lockdown and define yourself. Take a deep dig inside and uh, who are you? Um, who are you? What makes you unique? What are your talents? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are you good at? You know, what makes you you? The fourth thing, and lastly, um, when you're put into any type of situation, whether it's at work, whether it's in society, whether it's school, community, or whether it's your finances, you need to analyze the situation quick and figure out um, what your unfair advantage is, what your unfair advantage is. And um, if you don't have one, you need to find one quickly. Um, you want to seize the opportunity in every situation and take advantage of it. Yeah. So the last thing, and it's probably the most important thing for every situation that you get put into, you want to figure out what the unfair advantage is, what, what, your, what your unfair advantage is. Because in every situation, there's going to be some type of unfair advantage and you want to have the unfair advantage. So if you can't figure out instantly what the unfair advantage is, create one, figure it out. There's an unfair advantage, there's leverage in every situation. And if you want to get ahead in life, you kind of have to figure out that unfair advantage quick. The first one that figures out the unfair advantage typically wins. Doesn't that make sense? That Logically, doesn't that kind of make sense? The person that can figure out how to get ahead first wins. Uh, anyways. Uh, 
yeah so that's that's pretty much it short and sweet um short and sweet i i typically i never write anything down i typically just go off the top but i i think it just flows a little bit better and i won't sound so like i'm rambling on um but that's it. I mean, in, the, in, the, in these unprecedented times, I think, you, you know, you will be missing, you will be missing the ball if you don't redefine yourself, find yourself, or yeah, redefine yourself or find yourself. I mean, everybody has a little bit of extra time on their hands. Um, you know, I think you're, you're dropping the ball if you don't pick up some type of new skill, some type of new hobby, so, something, something new, you know. But uh, thank you for tuning into the wave. And uh, you have a little bit of champion of you. Everybody has a little bit of Mike Tyson, 96, 97 in them. <laughs> Everybody has a little bit of champion in them. Find the champion in you. Define the champion in you. You're great. Go be great. And uh, learn something new today. You know, learn something new every single day. You should be trying to learn something new. But thank you for turning in. Thank you for tuning in. You have now rode the wave. Share it, tell a friend, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you.